Hello, kids. Today, we're stepping into the world of one of the prehistoric giant creatures, the Brachiosaurus. Imagine a creature so tall it could reach the top of a four-story building with a neck longer than a bus and legs as thick as tree trunks. Brachiosaurus, meaning arm lizard, is aptly named for its impressive forelimbs that were longer than its hind limbs, giving it a giraffe-like stance. This unique posture, coupled with its long neck and large body mass, allowed Brachiosaurus to thrive in a world dominated by giants. Are you ready to learn more about Brachiosaurus? Let's get started. Let's begin our journey by painting a picture of this majestic creature. Imagine a creature so massive, so colossal that it dwarfed even the tallest elephants of today. Brachiosaurus, a long neck giant, could grow to be an astounding 85 feet long. That's longer than three school buses parked end to end. Its most striking feature, without a doubt, was its incredibly long neck. This remarkable adaptation held aloft by a series of strong, interconnected vertebrae allowed Brachiosaurus to reach high up into the treetops, much like a giraffe does today. This towering height also gave Brachiosaurus a significant advantage over other herbivores, allowing it to spot predators from afar and giving it a clear view of its surroundings. And what about its weight? Well, Brachiosaurus tipped the scales at an estimated 30 to 50 tons. That's heavier than 10 large African elephants combined. Just imagine the ground shaking beneath its feet as it lumbered across the prehistoric landscape. Its massive body was supported by four sturdy legs, each one ending in broad feet that helped distribute its weight evenly. These were not the feet of a predator, but of a gentle giant content to graze amongst the trees. And let's not forget its tail. Long and tapering, it acted as a counterbalance to its heavy neck and head helping Brachiosaurus maintain its balance. Despite its size and strength, this gentle giant was an herbivore, meaning it feasted solely on plants. Its teeth, shaped like chisels, were perfectly adapted for stripping leaves from branches, and its long neck allowed it to reach vegetation that other dinosaurs could only dream of. In the world of dinosaurs, size certainly mattered, and Brachiosaurus, with its towering height and massive bulk, was a testament to the incredible diversity and grandeur of life during the Mesozoic era. But its story is not just about size, it's about adaptation, survival, and the delicate balance of life that existed in those ancient ecosystems. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine a world vastly different from our own. A world where the continents were still forming, drifting across the surface of the Earth. This was the late Jurassic period, a time when dinosaurs ruled the planet, and Brachiosaurus was among the giants that roamed this ancient landscape. The air was warm and humid, thick with the scent of pine and ferns. Vast forests of conifers, cycads, and ginkgos stretched as far as the eye could see, providing a rich and abundant source of food for our long-necked friend. Rivers and streams swollen from seasonal rains snaked their way across the land, supporting a diverse array of life. The climate was much warmer then, with higher levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This created a greenhouse effect, resulting in a world without polar ice caps and with lush vegetation covering much of the land. Imagine a world without icy poles, where even the polar regions were teeming with life. This is the world that Brachiosaurus knew, a world where the sun beat down relentlessly and the days were long and hot. The supercontinent Pangaea, which had once united all the Earth's land masses, was beginning to break apart, forming the continents we know today. This separation led to the creation of new oceans and coastlines, shaping the environments in which dinosaurs lived and evolved. In this ever-changing world, Brachiosaurus thrived. Its long neck allowed it to exploit the abundant vegetation high in the treetops, while its massive size provided a degree of protection from predators. It shared its world with other iconic dinosaurs, such as Stegosaurus, Allosaurus, and Ceratosaurus, each playing a unique role in the intricate web of life. But the late Jurassic wasn't without its challenges. Picture this. Brachiosaurus 
our towering giant, moving gracefully through the dense undergrowth, its long neck swaying like a ship's mast. But what was it searching for amidst this prehistoric jungle? The answer lies in its diet. Brachiosaurus was a herbivore, a giant grazer with an appetite to match its size. Imagine a creature that needed to consume hundreds of pounds of food every single day. That's like eating the weight of a small car and plants. Brachiosaurus's long neck, a marvel of evolution, was perfectly adapted for this task, allowing it to reach high into the canopy to feast on leaves that were out of reach for other dinosaurs. Its diet consisted mainly of conifer needles, ferns, and the leaves of ginkgo trees. These plants, abundant during the Jurassic period, provided the sustenance this behemoth needed to fuel its massive body. Unlike some herbivores that chewed their food thoroughly, Brachiosaurus, like its sauropod relatives, swallowed leaves and branches whole, relying on its enormous digestive system to break down the tough plant material. This process could take days, even weeks, as bacteria in its gut worked to ferment the plant matter, releasing nutrients that the Brachiosaurus could absorb. Its digestive system was a marvel of nature, a complex system of chambers and intestines designed to extract every last bit of nutrition from its fibrous diet. It's even speculated that Brachiosaurus, like some modern-day birds, may have swallowed stones to help grind up food in its gizzard, further aiding digestion. And what about water? Well, a creature this size needed to drink a lot of it. It's estimated that Brachiosaurus may have consumed hundreds of gallons of water per day, drawn from rivers and lakes that dotted its prehistoric landscape. Our understanding of Brachiosaurus, like many dinosaurs, comes from the painstaking work of paleontologists, who pieced together the story of these ancient creatures from the fragments of bone they left behind. Each fossil discovery is a window into the past, offering tantalizing clues about the life and times of these extinct giants. The first Brachiosaurus fossil was unearthed in 1900 in the rugged, sun-baked landscape of western Colorado, USA. It was an incomplete skeleton, but its sheer size and the unique structure of its bones immediately set it apart from any dinosaur discovered before. This initial find, made by paleontologist Elmer Riggs, sent shockwaves through the scientific community, igniting a passion for understanding this newly discovered behemoth. Imagine the excitement of unearthing a bone so large it dwarfed any human bone, the realization that you've stumbled upon a creature unlike anything alive today. That's the thrill of paleontology, the constant pursuit of knowledge hidden within the Earth's embrace. Over the decades, more Brachiosaurus fossils have been unearthed, not just in North America, but also in Africa, providing further evidence of their widespread distribution during the late Jurassic. These discoveries, often fragmentary and incomplete, are like pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle, each one slowly revealing a clearer picture of Brachiosaurus. One of the most complete Brachiosaurus skeletons ever found is housed in the Humboldt Museum in Berlin, Germany. This impressive specimen, nicknamed Girafatita, stands over 40 feet tall, offering visitors a glimpse into the sheer scale of these prehistoric giants. Studying these fossilized bones, paleontologists can determine a great deal about Brachiosaurus. From the size and shape of its leg bones, they can estimate its weight and how it moved. Analysis of its teeth reveals clues about its diet, while the structure of its skull provides insights into its brain size and sensory capabilities. The reign of the dinosaurs, a period spanning millions of years, was not destined to last forever. Like all chapters in Earth's history, it eventually came to a close, marked by a cataclysmic event that wiped out these magnificent creatures from the face of the planet. The extinction of Brachiosaurus, along with its dinosaur brethren, is a stark reminder of the power of nature and the fragility of life itself. Imagine the skies darkening, the air growing thick with ash and debris as a massive asteroid, six miles wide, slammed into the earth near what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. This impact, estimated to have been a billion times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, triggered a chain reaction of catastrophic events that would forever alter the course of life on Earth. The immediate impact unleashed unimaginable devastation, 
creating tsunamis that ravaged coastlines, wildfires that swept across continents, and earthquakes that shook the planet to its core. But the real killer was the dust and debris ejected into the atmosphere, which shrouded the Earth in darkness, blocking out the sun and plunging the planet into a prolonged period of global cooling. This impact winter, as it's known, had a devastating effect on plant life, the very foundation of the food chain. As vegetation withered and died, herbivores like Brachiosaurus would have found themselves struggling to find enough food to sustain their massive bodies. The once lush forests that provided them with sustenance were now barren wastelands, their food source decimated by the global catastrophe. The impact also released massive amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, leading to rapid climate change. Temperatures soared, oceans acidified, and the delicate balance of ecosystems worldwide was thrown into chaos. Brachiosaurus, adapted to a world of warmth and abundant vegetation, would have been ill-equipped to survive in this rapidly changing environment. Exploring the world of Brachiosaurus was a wonderful experience, wasn't it? We journeyed back in time to the late Jurassic period, walked among giants, and unearthed the secrets of these magnificent creatures. But our journey into the world of dinosaurs doesn't end here. Scientists are constantly making new discoveries, unearthing new fossils, and refining our understanding of these fascinating creatures. So keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep your sense of wonder alive. Thank you for joining me on this incredible adventure. Remember, the past is full of wonder, and there are always new discoveries to be made. See you on our next adventure.